Researchers around the world are rushing to develop vaccines to halt the spread of COVID-19. In Seattle, UW Medicine says one of its labs is making significant progress. The university shot this video of researchers who say their experimental vaccine induced a strong immune response to coronavirus in mice and monkeys after a single dose. They say immunity increased over time and they expect to test it on humans later this summer. I think that we're undergoing a, a vaccine revolution. COVID-19 has brought this on. I've been in vaccine research for many, many years and I've never seen anything like this. We are moving at much quicker pace than ever. UW Dr. Deborah Fuller says it typically took five to seven years to prove a vaccine. Now she says timelines are accelerating to between 18 months and two years. Last week, the Kaiser Permanente Washington Research Institute in Seattle announced a two-dose experimental coronavirus vaccine it's studying provided an immune boost in humans. A 30,000-person study is expected to start next week. This is the first of many steps on the road to actually producing an effective vaccine, but I think it's safe to say that what we're seeing right now is, is really just exactly what we wanted to see. It's a race to see which one works best, but researchers say the more vaccines, the better. For a pandemic, you need something really quickly. You need billions of doses. Uh, you need a, uh, you know, to be distributed worldwide. And I don't think one vaccine is gonna accomplish that. So the big question, how long could it be before a coronavirus vaccine is available to the public? Well, Dr. Anthony Fauci, the nation's top infectious disease expert, says he's cautiously optimistic a vaccine could be available in limited quantities for higher risk people by early next year. In Seattle, Ted Land, King 5 News. A new statewide crackdown on social gatherings started today, and the new rules mean people in Phase 2 counties cannot have social gatherings with more than five people. In Phase 3, no social gatherings with more than 10 people. The change does not apply to religious services or funerals.